Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from the bubble in Orlando, Florida, for day 21 of your 2020 NBA postseason game highlight commentary. We start out in the Western Conference, game four, as the Los Angeles Clippers look to take a 3-1 lead over the Denver Nuggets, who are trying their best not to go down 3-1 again in this same very postseason. But they wouldn't get out to a very good start because the Clippers dominated them in the first quarter. They had less defense than a chastity belt on a horse. It simply was not working. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But back the other way, here comes MJP. I don't call him MPJ because fuck your rules. Puts in back-to-back -back threes and suddenly he'd lift the Nuggets back on a run and they're cutting into that Clippers deficit. In the second half, Nikola Jokic would put in a three. But Kawhi would say right back at you, pussy. <laughs> Hold on, I thought Patrick Beverly's controller doesn't work on offense. What the hell? Why is the evil Morris twin still scoring? And they tell Denver to hold my nuggets because they'd open up the third quarter on a 19-5 run. It's on ball! Hey! It's on ball! Uh -huh. I think Denver got castrated because they don't got no D at all. But at least we know Jamal Murray got one. Uh -huh. Green sneakers Poppy would try to ignite his team. Nikola is here. And then the Clippers' six men would take over because Lou Williams would throw the ball so high Taco Fall couldn't find it. And then Montrez Harrell would activate his dreadlock powers inside and extend the Clippers' lead. And we can't forget about Don't Call Me Pandemic, Call Me Playoff P, connecting on back to back threes. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come here, bitch ass white boy. And somehow Nikola Jokic activated again, Jutsu, because Lou Williams ran away from him before he even tried to give up the ball. He'd connect on a three, knock down another basket, and then Jamal Murray would connect on back to back baskets, cut the deficit all the way down to nine. But would that help Denver come back and win? Absolutely not. Like a woman receiving her period six months into pregnancy, it's too late. Take the L out of lover. It's over, brother. The Clippers take a 3 1 lead over Denver. And up next, Denver. Desperation time backs up against the wall for the reigning, defending, undisputed NBA champions of the world as the Toronto Raptors try to save their season as the Boston Celtics look to close them out in six. I'm a warrior. I'm a gonna win. It's the most electrifying move. It's Sports Entertainment today. Oh, the people's elbow. <laughs> Wanna make her graduating from the Jesus Burgess University with a degree in shockwave elbows. Look at Kyle Lowry just flying backwards. A lot of people thought he was flopping, but he actually got hit. He even started bleeding. Somebody was watching Rocky because they said to throw in the towel, looking like he's having a period from underneath his jaw. I would have loved to have sympathy for the Toronto Raptors, but just last game, you saw Pascal Siakam activate a sweet chin music like he was Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. Somebody get Vince McMahon on the phone because looks like these basketball players would rather elevate to sports entertainment than just settle for just sports. Pascal Siakam just started a super kick party. He says, I want to test your jaw and introduce it to my foot. But Watermaker would respond and say, how about a bull hammer for your captain? I'm the captain. <laughs> how the hell didn't y'all see it? That motherfucker hit me with the elbow right in my motherfucking face, man. That shit hurt, man. I even started bleeding. That's got to be the foul, man. This is some old bullshit. I can't believe it. How they going to let him score like that like I ain't in pain, man? This is some old bullshit. For some apparent reason, Boston just doesn't get the memo. Why are they leaving Serge Ibaka open like he's not knocking down these shots this series? Victim of elbow violence, Kyle Lowry would knock down a jumper. Marc Gasol would connect on his first three in the series. And Holiday Sale, Discount, Clearance Isle, Drake, Fred, Flintstone, Van Vliet would connect on a pair of threes. And suddenly, Toronto's jumped out to an eight-point lead. I don't give a fuck. Ball stolen by Giga Kyle Lowry, but... Like I said... Jalen Brown would connect on a couple of corner threes and cut their deficit down to three, and then Jason Tatum would give them the lead. Splash. But Kyle Lowry would get them both back, first in Tatum's face and then another one in Jalen Brown's face. He don't give a shit about no Boston Celtics. I crossed up Santa Claus. It was in the North Pole. Showed them how I finger rolled. With 2.30 left to play, the Celtics would cut their deficit to two and... I dropped it. 
Boston comes away with a steal on Pascal Siakam, and here's Marcus Smart the other way, finds his man inside. We've got a tie game at 98. Seven seconds left to play. Kemba Walker with the go-ahead layup. Oh, I missed. Toronto with another opportunity for a buzzer beater. Pass to Pascal Siakam, his three-pointer. I'm a brick. Looks like we're going to overtime. Kyle Lowry, turnaround jumper in Kemba's face. It's good. Boston would answer right back. Kemba Walker, step back on Giga Kyle Lowry in your face. Good. Toronto would answer right back. 19.6 left to play. Inbound pass from Marcus Smart to Jalen Brown, but he's fouled in midair. He connect on both his free throws. We've got another tie game, this time at 106. And for some reason, Norman Powell was appointed to end this game. His three-pointer on Kemba Walker. That wasn't even close. Was Nick Nurse in a Genjutsu? We'd go into a second overtime. Pascal Siakam absolutely loses the ball. Jason Tatum would dunk it home. And then he'd get it done on the passing end as he'd find his man and Boston got a four-point lead. But finally, Toronto would give the ball to the right man as Kyle Lowry would lay it up home. Then he'd rip Jalen Brown and on the other end... Fuck you, Cal. Oh, grab it, man. I got it, I got it, I got it. Give me the ball. Oh, stupid. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Following the blocking foul, Norman Powell now has an opportunity to make up for his missed game winner. He'd tie up the game at 110 apiece. Hulk and kick! Oh, I missed! The smartest Marcus would make him pay with a three-pointer and give Boston a three-point lead. And Norman Colin Powell would be Johnny on the spot and even up the score once again. But Kemba the Skywalker would find his man. Boston would regain the lead. But Kyle Lowry tells the smartest Marcus, I don't care if you're first team all defense. Take a look at this behind the back pass to my evolved version. As OG Obi-Wan on an OB puts in a three, gives Toronto a one point lead. But Kemba, Luke Skywalker go into the paint to regain. Fuck out of here. Access denied. Rejected. Following the block, the smartest Marcus passed to Jason. Caught, nigga. The ball stolen by Toronto and what's Norman Powell's favorite mixtape and what? Toronto leads by four. But Jason Tatum would look Lowry straight in his eyes and say, Fuck you, Cass. But he'd get his redemption on Kemba, Luke Skywalker and say, Fuck Star Wars. Fall away, jumper. It's good. That brother don't drive automatic. He's got the clutch in the car. The lead is back to four. But Jason Tatum would cut on the music once again and tell the Raptors, You only see stick shift in my vehicles because I got the clutch too. It's back to a one point game. Norman Powell would get the inbound and he's straight up assaulted in the corner. He'd go to the front free throw line he'd connect on both his free throws the lead is back up to three five seconds left to play on the clock Boston out of timeouts Tatum not trying to give a short pass he's gonna pass it past half court it's caught by Marcus Smart turn around three-point jump with a tie the game it's our ball, ain't it? Get the fuck out of here! No way in hell is it Celtics basketball. Point seven left to play. Nick Nurse would call a timeout. All the Raptors have to do is get a successful inbound. There's the pass with point seven left to play. And... That was easy. The Celtics couldn't find a basketball. Time is going to elapse. And the Toronto Raptors are going to force a game seven and even the series at three games apiece. As they tell those damn leprechauns to go join the Denver Nuggets in taking out their Metro cards. And they're getting aboard the... Oh!